So to create the glitch effect here on Adobe, okay. So to create the glitch effect here on Adobe Premiere, it's very simple. Firstly, go to your effects and then type here glitch like this and then you'll be able to see here VR digital glitch and then just drag that to the clip that you want to add the glitch effect on and then after that just go to your FX control and then scroll down a little bit and until you see here VR digital glitch and then just scroll down a little bit and then you'll see under there distortion just click down the drop down button and then we'd want to set the color distortion to 100 so just type here 100 and then next is we're gonna go to distortion and then next is we're gonna go to distortion rate so just make this zero to make it look cleaner like this and then lastly we can add a noise there too so click down the drop down button and then set the noise strength to 50 or however you want if you want to add more noise to it it really depends on you but for now let's just set it to 50 and then next we'd want to add an animation for it so what we're gonna have to do to start our animation is just scroll up a little bit and then you'll see here on the effect controls master amplitude and then we need to click on toggle animation now before we do that we need to set our playhead to where we want to start the glitch effect on so maybe like here for example and then let's just click on toggle animation now it's going to create a keyframe for us there now next what we're gonna have to do is we need to set this first keyframe to no effect at all and then in order for us to do that is go back to the master amplitude and then set this 100 to 0 and then it's not going to have an effect at all and then next what we're gonna have to do is we need to move this playhead to three frames ahead and now in order for us to do that just click on the right arrow key on your keyboard just three times like this one two three and then we need to add another keyframe here just click here the add remove keyframe and then it's going to create a keyframe on for us there for now let's just zoom in a little bit so we can see it better like that and then what we're gonna have to do now on the second keyframe is we need to set this master amplitude to 100 to see our F glitch effect there and then next we need to move the playhead again for another two keyframes like this and then add another keyframe here and then set this master amplitude back to zero now that we have our animation here for the glitch effect we'd want to also add a screen shake here too now to easily do that just scroll up a little bit and then you see here position and scale now before we get started with the screen shake we need to move back the playhead again at the start of the keyframe maybe one frame back or two like this and then we need to make the scale bigger because we're going to move the frame here and then we don't want it to go out of bounds so maybe let's just set this to 130 like this and then now we need to toggle animation for the position so just click on toggle animation and it's going to create a keyframe for us there so for the first keyframe we don't have to do anything just keep it like that and then next is we need to move this playhead just one frame ahead just like this and then we need to add another keyframe and then we need to move the position however we want so for example we want to move it to the right or to the left it doesn't really matter it just needs to move from the original position and then next let's move our playhead again for another one frame and then we need to add another keyframe there and then for this last keyframe we need to reset the parameter back where it was before so now if you play this animation as you can see we have our glitch effect there now now if you want to add more glitch effects on your clip you can just copy and paste the keyframes that you have here and to wherever you want the glitch to happen and that's basically it thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys later